What was the Spirit Lake Massacre of 1857? On March 8th to 12th, 1857, Inkpaduta and a small band of Wapakuta Dakota Indians attacked the settlers at Spirit and Okaboji Lakes in northern Iowa. Of the approximately 35 settlers in the region, all were killed with the exception of four women taken captive. The Indians then headed north, and on March 26th, they attacked the settlement of Springfield, Minnesota. The settlers at Springfield knew of the previous attacks and were able to put up a defense against the Indians. Seven settlers were killed at Springfield. News of the attacks was slow to reach the nearest settlements of Fort Dodge and Fort Ridgely. Once people learned of the attacks, a relief party was sent north from Fort Dodge and southwest from Fort Ridgely. However, both parties were slowed by harsh winter conditions, and by the time they reached the region of the massacre, the Indians had fled. In the summer of 1857, a major expedition was formed which consisted of Chief Little Crow and about 100 Dakota warriors. The expedition headed west for several weeks. Although they eventually located and attacked several of the Indians from Inkpaduta's band, they were unable to find and capture Inkpaduta himself. The tragic events at Spirit and Okaboji Lakes represented some of the problems with white Indian relations on the Iowa and Minnesota frontier at that time. The Wapakute who incited the attacks were a separate band of Dakota who rejected the terms of the Treaty of Traverse de Sioux and who wished to maintain a traditional nomadic lifestyle. This conflicted with the growing number of settlers that continued to pour into the region and threatened that traditional way of life. Also, due to limited resources and harsh conditions, some Dakotas such as Inkpaduta and his band chose to fight back against encroachment. All of these factors played a role in worsening conditions that eventually led to the U.S.-Dakota War of 1862.